of YouTube, Facebook. Hey, uh, I want to make a video of this. I got a lot of people that, that ask me about keeping shad alive, and, and they always say you can't do it, but you can. And I'm, uh, I'm going to show you how right here. I learned this from a, from a excuse me, commercial fisherman several years ago, and it works, and I do it when I can't catch perch. A lot of times early in the season, the perch are just slow. The water's cold. It, it's, it's early spring right now, about the 10th of March, 9th or 10th. And we've started, we've started catfishing and uh, running our lines. What I got here is a, a round, you got to have a round tub. And this is a 20, 25 gallon uh, feed tub for cattle or, or horses. Either one, I think some minerals came in it, mineral lick or something. Anyway, you want something round because these fish, they, they need to swim in a circle. I know that may sound crazy, but they need that. And they came out of current. So you need a bilge pump or a recirculation pump. So something to keep that water moving so these fish are flowing. Uh, the, they need that flow of that water and they need to keep moving. That one right there didn't look like he was doing too good. But and, I mean, you're not, it's just like any other live bait. You're not going to have all of them live. You're going to have a few that die. But if you keep your water moving, use good water. If you got city water, like I do, get you some of this shad keeper, better bait, stay alive. There's, there's several different formulas. It's all pretty much the same thing, but it's gonna get it's gonna get the ammonia and uh and all that kind of stuff out of the water the chlorine all that from the city water it's gonna take all that out and it it adds i can't remember exactly what it is but it, it puts a stress coat on your fish it helps them with stress and that, that's a big thing you see you see some of these shad are starting to get the red nose look and what that is is they're swimming against that side constantly and these we, we've had these in here now for an hour or two and they're they're doing good you see the, the the fish that are turning over and everything they're not dying they're not dead they're just there's a bunch of them in there and they're kind of <laughs> they're getting it there's a big one right there and that's another thing if you want to catch big catfish you gotta have big bait i mean you see this that thread fin shad right there is pretty good size a lot of people don't know what a thread fin shad is. I don't know if I... You see that little fin right there? That's why they call them a thread fin. That little fin right there. Well, we got a few gizzard shad in here and some thread fin. And anyway, they're doing good. When you can't catch perch, you can always catch shad. And you can keep them alive. Let me show you this one, one, one thing I got right here. I got... I took this off. I bought this several years ago, I think from Academy, a little bait saver deal. I put it in a bucket and had some minnows in there. This is a pretty good thing. Let me see if I can get this cap off of there. A lot of people think you need bubblers and this and that and these bait savers to keep your fish alive and you don't. You can take a, a recirculating pump, any kind of water pump or a uh, bills pump like I've got. You put you a piece of PVC pipe on there and have it recirculate and then blow it through the air and it will create bubbles. As you can see, it is an oxygenator. Don't let anybody tell you that a recirculating pump won't keep fish alive and won't keep oxygen in your water. They're lying to you. I'm here to tell you. We keep 50, 60, 70 pound catfish in these noodling tanks. Just exactly the way we're keeping these fish right here. So don't let them tell you you can't keep shad alive. And if you foam them up too much, they will foam up on you because they put a slime in the water. Don't let them, don't let them foam up too much. Get you, kind of get your current going back in there and let them, let them get back to swimming. And they'll stay alive. They'll stay alive for days like this, just like a perch will. Just keep them happy. Well, thank y'all for watching. Have a good day and wish me luck.